Howdy folks, welcome to uh, Causeway Bait and Tackles YouTube page uh, on a chilly day in April here in New York. I'm outside today, I'm just going to do a quick video I wanted to show you, you uh, surf casters out there throwing bait off the beach, these pieces, uh, these fish binders, these yellow ones, are for, uh, you would use if you're throwing braided line, and these white ones are for mono line. Uh, the difference between the two pieces in the, the plastics used, I'll try to show you right through the bag here, you can see that the, the ones for braid are about three times thicker than uh, the ones for the mono line. It's about the only difference that I can tell you. Obviously uh, the braid is more abrasive and so they got a thicker, stronger plastic on the uh, yellow fish binders for the braided line and about a third of that thickness for the for these fish finders for your mono line if you're uh, throwing throwing bait off the beach surf casting so let's take a look at how this thing works how you rig it up let's take a look at the uh, the braided fish binder first the one for braided line as you can see Here's, here's your hook, and you run that right to a swivel, to your braid, and then you feed it right through the fish finder, and you attach your weight on there, whatever weight you're throwing. This one's pretty heavy. I rarely throw six ounces off the beach, but I just grabbed any uh, pyramid sinker there to show you what's done. So that's it. Your hook. And you want to run it to the swivel so that so that when it's in the water the uh, the hook can't reach where your sinker is. And the reason that folks use these fish binder rigs is so that and you can see when I pull on the hook down here when when the fish hits the bait and it pulls it, you can see it feeds through the fish binder and gives the fish some time to run with your bait before it's going to feel uh, feel the weight. If you just had uh, your braid connected, you know, uh, to a swivel and to your hook without the fish finder, the minute the fish hits the bait, it's gonna it's gonna tug and feel the weight at the same time and maybe let go. So as you can see, this braided line feeds right through. You know, just picture this is laying on the bottom. The fish hits it, and he's gonna pull your hook, and you're gonna see the line comes right through without moving the weight so the fish doesn't get spooked. Same exact thing uh, for the mono setup. You got your hook which feeds right into the swivel which, which is going to stop the hook from reaching all the way down to your sinker. Alright, so that's the advantage of using these fish finders. I figured I would show you both. The white one is for use with your mono line. The yellow one is for use with your braided line. You can see how thick the yellow ones for the braided line are. Plastic. And you can see that the white ones for mono line are about a third less in thickness. So if you need these things, you know, you can see we sell them in 50 packs and probably even so, uh, 10 packs inside the store as well you know if you need them give us a call there's our phone number 516-785-3223 Causeway Bait and Tackle in New York and uh, we'd be happy to set you up with some of these fish finders for braid for mono and thanks for looking